us the art of the Bobby Burger. Okay, a couple of things, okay. Um, I think of the burger as the quintessential sandwich. And it I is. look at every component individually to, to create a good burger. And so for the, the basics of a good burger are the following. First of all, the meat. 80% beef, 20% fat. It can be any kind of beef that you want. I like to use chuck or sirloin, but the ratio of, 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 uh, of beef to fat to is beef. really important. 80-20 okay? I think is good. And then I season <laughs> it very well with salt and pepper on both sides. And then, crust. And then I, I like to cook mine on a, on a flat iron or a cast iron pan. Me too. Most and you, delicious. And that's what you want to get. And you get that beautiful crust. You want to get crust. this beautiful Look crust just like that. It's okay? literally a crunch on the burger itself. Exactly right. <laughs> and how many times do you flip it? One, one time. One time. You flip it one time, and we're just going to let that go. Salt and pepper on both sides. It helps form a crust and, of course, mm. gives it lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, size of burgers. Okay? This is too fat. That's too skinny. That's right. And this is, in my opinion, just right. That's okay? the just right. And I also, this is essential. Always make it thinner in the center and thicker at the edges for even cooking and a nice flat top when you're done. Exactly right. I make yep. a well with my thumb. Yep. Now, and that's a great point, Rachel. The reason why I like to do that is because when you cook, when you put a burger on the grill mm -hmm. or in a pan, what happens? It plumps up like a football, right? That's right. And then you take your spatula and you press it down. And squish it. And you squeeze out all, all that delicious flavor. juice in, inside. So this kind of cheats the burger. And yeah, you end up with the football shaped burger that's raw in the middle, too dark at the edges, and it just it looks bad. No good. Yeah, no, no bueno. Okay, and then picking out um, the perfect bun. I like a soft bun. The one thing I don't want is an artisanal bun that's really firm and hard on the outside because it breaks up the burger. You want, you, you want the, um, the bun to actually become part of the burger itself. It, and that's a great eating sandwich, and that's what's really important. I like a soft bun, too. Some burgers I like a brioche. Though. Oh, yeah. Brioche. Some burgers I like brioche. No, brioche is nice, but, yep. but again, it's soft. Yep. Okay, cheese. Um, I'm just going to say this straight out. I know, like, I, I'm a chef. I have these high-end restaurants. American cheese is amazing for burgers. It's delicious. Okay? Yep. And here's the way, I, and you have to melt the cheese completely, and this is how I do it. I like two pieces of cheese, okay? And Who doesn't? Exactly. And then right in your pan, you're gonna take some water, and then you're gonna cover it. Cover with a little burger lid. And that's how you get the perfect milk. And it's milk. gonna create steam. Guys, they sell these little things at every restaurant supply store. They cost nothing. You can even order them online. Uh, and it's, it's how, you know, you properly melt the cheese from back in the day. If you grew up working on a flat griddle, you'd use these. And they're great. And also, Rachel, like, yeah. you know, uh, because we're only flipping it once, you want to actually cook the burger on the sides as right. well, and the steam will help that. And then you, it's like magic. There it is. It's gorgeous. That's what you want to see. Beautiful. Just like that. It's a work of art. Grab a bun, pop it on a plate. Now that's a burger. You want this cheese just dripping. Look at that. Oh.